Hi, I'm Stefan Tluter. I'm a dentist working in a private practice in Guernsey in the Channel Islands. We've got a three surgery practice and I spend most of my time working on children, young adults and even adults where we mainly do orthodontic treatment. My journey to become a dentist probably started way back with my grandfather who in 1930 qualified at the University of Liverpool as a dentist and he moved back to South Africa and then my father became a dentist as well and my, my younger brother is a dentist as well. So from a very young age um, all I could think of was becoming a dentist. So I can say that truly I've got dentistry running through my veins. I qualified as a dentist in 1996 in Pretoria in South Africa. I uh, moved to London um, where I was working in a mixed um, NHS and private practice. While I was working as a dentist I then um, entered a five years master's course in prosthodontics through the University um, of London at King's College and I obtained my master's degree in prosthodontics in 2005. Um, at the time I was doing a lot of implant work, um, I was also a gold provider for Invisalign um, and in 2004 I moved to Guernsey and I've been in the private practice in Guernsey ever since. Having worked for eight years as an associate, um, I felt like the time was right to, to be a practice owner. So I uh, became a practice owner in 2007 um, and I've got um, associates working with me and um, I find being a practice owner very fulfilling um, because you can move the practice forward in the way that you want. A big turning point in my career came back in 2009 um, where I saw a young patient and this prompted me to get into dentofacial orthopedics and change the way that I practice dentistry. I could just see that in her mouth there was a lot of overcrowding and her arches were very very narrow and teeth stuck everywhere and I looked at this patient and I thought something needs to be done for this girl because I could just um, see without knowing much about the subject, that there was going to be a de developmental problems, um, especially with teeth not being able to find their way into this patient's mouth. At the time, I wasn't doing any early intervention orthodontic treatment, so I referred this patient to three different specialists, desperately asking them, please, can you do something for this girl? And every time the patient came back to me, and the orthodontist um, and the specialist said, um, no, there's nothing that needs to be done. We'll reassess her when she's got all her adult teeth through. Later on, um, this girl went off to boarding school to the UK and um, she came back three years later with her mouth in a terrible state. She had teeth horizontally impacted under her teeth. She had a, a, a number of teeth impacted in her palate. And I felt terrible knowing that um, this happened on my watch, um, that um, I knew something was, was um, needed to help this girl from a young age, and I was unable to do that. And seeing this patient come back with all these problems prompted me to start my journey into this dental facial orthopedics. Um, I um, attended a number of lectures and courses from the Clinical Foundation of Orthodontics and Orthopedics from America. Um, I was very fortunate to have Dr. Skip Truitt as my tutor and my mentor who guided me through my journey. Um, I did um, all six courses that uh, the Clinical Foundation um, ran um, with physical lectures and courses. When I booked my first course to learn how to do dental facial orthopedics, it was a three-day course at, um, at Heathrow. Um, I had four patients booked in on that Monday morning when I was going to get back. Um, that is how determined I was um, to learn how to do this dental facial orthopedics. Um, since then I've done a number of courses that was hosted by the Clinical Foundation of Orthodontics and Orthopedics from America. I was also very fortunate, uh, fortunate to have a large backup um, from the lab and other clinicians um, to guide me through this journey. And what I'm bringing to you is um, work that we've learned in surgery on live patients. So um, the experience that I've gained over the last 10 years of den doing dental facial orthopedics is very valuable and I can show you what works in clinical practice and I can show you what works in my hands. Um, obviously there's a number of different ways and approaching this treatment but um, I found that you know in time you learn what works and what um, is very effective in treating your patients. 
One thing that I was quite fortunate about is that I um, documented my cases really well from day one when I started way back in 2010. I've completed well over a thousand cases um, with this dentofacial orthopedics um, paradigm that we have. And um, having so much uh, information and photos and records, and that has enabled me to use these cases of the progression and how we've treated the patients to be able to give back, to train and teach um, dentists who are interested in introducing this into their practices. Introducing dentofacial orthopedics into my practice has had a huge impact on how I practice dentistry and about the amount of the kind of services that we can offer for our patients. There's a lot of practices out there that's got a, a huge client base of young children, children through their growing years, where not much is done for them. These children normally receive uh, scale and polishes and fissure sealants, um, but a lot of these growth and developmental problems are left undiagnosed and these children do not receive the treatment that they, sh that they desperately need. So introducing this dental facial orthopedics can open a whole new field for anyone um, that has got young and growing children in their practices. The benefits of introducing dental facial orthopedics in your practice not only helps as a uh, amazing practice builder because you're offering a whole new range of treatment for your patients but you also do get a lot of referrals and I have a lot of patients being recommended and referred to us and the uptake for this uh, treatment is very very high. But I have to say that the biggest benefit that I personally get from doing this dentofacial orthopedics is the amazing transformation that you see in these patients and when you look back at your before and after photos of the cases that you've treated successfully, you get immense satisfaction knowing that you have changed these patients' lives. In addition to, to running a very busy practice, um, I uh, would really like to give back and to be involved in training dentists in how to do dentofacial orthopedics. I've been involved in um, running a number of webinars, um, I've been a speaker at a number of international conferences and, and congresses. Um, also, I'm sharing my cases with um, the Clinical Foundation of Orthopedics and Orthodontics, where my cases are being used to show um, progression and before and afters and the different techniques that we use to train dentists in how um, these amazing results are achieved. I feel very privileged to have been asked to be involved with this um, course by the London Dental Institute to help dentists from all over the world to start this journey in doing dentofacial orthopedics. We're going to be joined by dentists from all over the world and it's a really exciting journey and I'm really looking forward to meeting you all.